Regarding the Z Fold 6 or Z Fold 6 Ultra, I have both good and bad news to share with you. While some of you may be unhappy, this is a reality. In case you are unaware, we all wanted a wider cover display in the Z Fold 6 and Z Fold 6 Ultra was the only thing we were expecting to get this update and even a good, better and powerful cameras with a 200 megapixel main sensor. But this is where things got interesting, according to ET News and even sources, there will be two models of a Z Fold 6, but there is no Ultra in it. Instead, Samsung is preparing the first budget foldable in the history of Z Fold. One will feature S Pen support and the other doesn't. I already reported this story a while in my previous video, when Samsung's inside source hinted that Samsung would proceed with the Z Fold 6 Fan Edition, and they also offered some information on the price of a Z Fold 6. According to him, Samsung will raise the price of the Z Fold 6, therefore the Z Fold 6 Ultra is unlikely to be chosen. The price rise will be similar to the S24 Ultra, with a $100 increase resulting in a price of $1,899, but the Z Fold 6 FE pricing will be far lower, with reports suggesting it would be around $1,500. The reason for developing a low-cost foldable is to expand the foldable market and reach more people. This is what I indicated earlier in my videos. Some say there is only one difference between the Z Fold 6 and Z Fold 6 FE, but I think there will be more differences and even the bigger difference is the design of a Z Fold 6 and Z Fold 6 FE. First, according to speculations, the Z Fold 6 FE might use a last year Z Fold 5 design, which makes sense and there are a host of other upgrades. Z Fold 6 will include these features, while Z Fold 6 FE will not. Here are the revisions. This is the first look of Galaxy Z Fold 6, which doesn't seem like anything changed, but according to the source, we are going to see wider, sharper, brighter, and less reflective outer and inner displays. He mentioned a lot in this statement. Let me break it down for you. The wider means wider cover display, but as per sources, Z Fold 6 will feature a 6.2-inch cover display and a 7.6-inch inner display. Although from the numbers, there is no change between the Z Fold 6 and the Z Fold 6, maybe we will see a slightly wider and slightly shorter display. The S24 Ultra will provide 46 with a brighter display. We measured 2600 nits on S24 and expect to see the same number on Z Fold 6 compared to 1750 nits. The less reflective screens were what I expected, and you should have too. The cover display will have an anti-reflection coating similar to the S24 Ultra, but how Samsung managed to make a less reflective inner display remains a mystery as will the new technology that may debut on the Z Fold 6. Alongside displays, Samsung will also give us new glass on the front and Gorilla Glass armor on the front. This new glass is four times scratch resistant compared to the Victus 2. He also added a new frame to Z Fold 6. What exactly does that mean? Well, it's either a boxier design or he's signaling a new titanium construction on Z Fold 6, which is already predicted. He also mentioned a new and lighter hinge. The hinge will undoubtedly be updated, but will this have a significant impact on the weight of a phone? According to rumors, the Z Fold 6 will be thinner, weighing between 240 and 248 grams less than the Z Fold 5, and the durability of a Z Fold 6 will improve dramatically with the new hinge design. But let's leave that topic for another day. It's almost official when the Z Fold 6 will be released. According to the Insider, Samsung plans to release the Z Fold 6, Flip 6, and perhaps the Galaxy Ring in July, specifically in the middle to late July. Finally, if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until then, have a peaceful day. I'll see you next time.